Guten Morgen, Kinder. Uh, hier haben wir ein Slide Deck über Familienbaum und wir schauen possessive Adjektiven und deskriptive Adjektiven. So we have a pair deck about family tree. Um, you should have already watched the first pair deck and video on family tree. And so this is the second uh, day for learning about Familienbaum auf Deutsch. I'm going to go over um, possessive adjectives and descriptive adjectives so we can talk about our family members now in German auf Deutsch. Also, mein possessive adjectives show possession. So, mein means my. Okay, is that a cognate? Sure thing. Meine is the same thing. Mine and meine both mean mine. You use them in different cases. And after the rest of the slides, I ask the question, what's the difference between mine without an E ending and meine with the E ending? So pay attention in the subsequent slides. Dein means yours. Dein. Deine, same thing, yours. Sein, sein or seine means his. Ihr or ihre means hers. And then we have <clears throat> descriptive adjectives. And so we're going to learn a few. If you'd like to look up more adjectives when we do projects with Family Tree to describe your family members with adjectives you don't see here, that's perfectly fine. But for now, wir haben, we have, wir haben traurig, traurig, or sad, froh, froh, or happy, blöd, blöd, or silly or dumb, klug, klug is smart, alt, alt is old, jung, jung, that's a cognate as well, that's young, so alt und jung, groß, groß is tall, Klein, klein is short. Groß and klein can also mean big and small. When we're describing people, it generally means tall and short. Groß and klein. Kreativ is creative. And langweilig is boring. Kreativ, langweilig. Also mein, meine, dein, deine, sein, seine, ihr, ihre. Traurig, froh, blöd, klug, alt, jung, groß, klein, kreativ und langweilig. So simply go through the rest of the slides and read the sentences auf Deutsch. Mein Bruder ist groß and see if you can surmise what each sentence means um, with the pictures and then using the explanations that I just gave you on what each possessive adjective and descriptive adjective means. So if you need to come back to the video and watch for the definitions, feel free to do so. And then there is a question about the E ending on the possessive adjectives and then a formative assessment. And so here you have all the adjectives and I want you to arrange them or categorize them in pairs of opposites. So um, one adjective on the left and then its opposite on the right. One adjective on the left and then the opposite on the right side. Okay. All right. Message me if you have any questions. Auf Wiedersehen. Viel Spaß.